dude. Hell yeah, brother. Oh yeah. We're gonna stream. And we're gonna stream until the cows come home, brother. Oh yeah. stream all night just like your grandmother used to like oh yeah ah. oh yeah ah. weird way to start it I know Weird way to start, I know. I understand it's a weird way to start. I understand he's a weird place to start. Well, 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 how the hell are you all doing? Are you guys okay? Is everyone doing all right? Hello, everyone. I just got to set a bunch of videos of uh, some hilarious shit going down downtown involving someone that I know, and I just got them, and I'm looking at them, and it's hilarious, dude. You wouldn't get it. It's an inside joke. But, boy, oh boy, is it ever hilarious. <laughs> anyway. What are y'all doing? Cassio? What's up, Cassio? It's just you now. Boba Fred. Hey kid, you wanna play Baldur's Gate 3? Well, I'm gonna tell you, brother, you should take some time and start exploring around. Cause you miss so many parts if you just go down. And start just trying to do your checkpoints. Man, just cross them off. B -b -b Boba Fred says, take your time walking around. I'll oh, go and explore everywhere. He said, these spells you use, you use them too. And then you can you use a magazine. Oh, oh. B -b 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 Fred. Can y'all tell that I'm a little, little bit... Boy, oh boy, I watched Kill Tony, and good God almighty, I just had to smoke so much while I was watching it. It was just something else, wasn't it? Something else, wasn't it? Hell yeah, Casio, Boba in the chat. Boba chat. Um... So I I uh did a little looking. I did a little looking around. <sighs> I did a little looking around about some uh where I'm at in the game. And I didn't spoil anything for myself, but I I uh I watched a video or two on some underrated spells to use, and I'm happy to know that I've I've started using one of them. Uh, hell yeah! Um, 
Nonsense. You could go back to kill Tony. I'm just going to be here doing this video game stuff. That's way more important than me. Uh, I, uh, yeah, it was off to a good start. Casey Rocket did his Casey Rocket thing like only Casey Rocket can, and it is something wondrous to behold. Um... <sighs> Very good episode. A couple of old school killers on there. Um, well, an old school killer on there. Uh, Tom Green. Hey, oh, Tom Green. Uh, did forty five minutes at the Secret Show. I think I told you guys about that the night that it happened. We came up at the end of the secret show and just did like 45 minutes for like eight people and just stayed in town for some extra days and then did kill Tony that Monday. And I met some really cool people in the green room. I met some really cool people in the green room that got the secret show from uh, this episode of Kill Tony. Or one person. I won't spoil her for the end. She's cool as shit. I got a, about three or four GBs over here left in the grind air. I got some clothes in the washing machine. And uh, I'm going to have to go and transfer those to the dryer at some point once what is in the dryer is sufficiently dry so we're gonna make a night of it y'all I gotta go back to work I'm gonna go back to work tomorrow and live that work life y'all know about that work life I gotta live that work life I gotta live the work life tomorrow I got a couple of watermelon flavored Sour Patch Kids, the not so sour kind, because I'm not too crazy about the sour stuff. It's all right. It's not like I can't eat it. It's just like the spicy stuff. Like I, I it's not like I can't eat the spicy stuff. I'm just not crazy about it. Same with the sour. Like I can handle it. It's just not exactly my thing, you know. It ain't my thing. Anyway. I did do a little looking after I after I watched this video, Bubba, about the like ten spells that are very underrated. Um, I didn't realize like <laughs> certain things that I already have can be utilized in like a huge way, and then other things are like uh, other things can be used without expending spell slot slots that do sort of the same thing. So whenever we get to level 12. Oh, and I realized that it gave me two extra spell slots. And that's where those other spells, the witch bolt and the other shit just got put in there automatically. I realized that I didn't swap those out. And that was kind of real stupid of me. But, um, there was a couple spells that, like, I, I don't know, I just, Baldur's Gate is in my algorithm now. So, um, I tell you what, let's just go ahead and hit this GB and we'll go ahead and jump in there. There's no time to waste today. I bore everyone with these long intros anyway. I can save that for the end. I can still swap them spells. Oh, snap. Well, in that case, we about to be some sm spell swapping motherfuckers up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm a mushroom cloud layer motherfucker, motherfucker. Man, let's get in it. 
Yo, Red Band might have had joke of the night, though. Low key, by the way, Brian Red Band has had joke of the episode for like four weeks running now. Oh, no. <coughs> Homie Red Band out here. He's just being quiet and choosing his moment, and just the moment that he chooses just fucking works, dude. So fucking funny, dude. He almost broke Adam Ray. It was so fucking funny, dude. <coughs> no spoilers, but <coughs> just expect. So, Jason. By the way, everyone, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment below, or in the live chat. If you want. Okay. So, yeah, Dude Man was saying, uh... <coughs> All right. Get rid of them witch bolts. <coughs> <coughs> Holy hell. Um... <coughs> I want to keep the magic missiles. Sleep storm might not be the best thing to have around. I know it breaks concentration for someone, but it's kind of a big thing, right? One of the guys said, <coughs> What's up, Booter? Yeah, like I'm, I, I, I want to keep it, but I've never used it. So it's like, Definitely need to put that back in there, the, that phantasmal killer. The flaming sphere is one of the things that was on that list uh, that I never used. But apparently, you can put those up in multiple places, apparently, and they count as an ally. So uh, it's almost like dropping a, a spirit weapon so that it, like... Uh, it's, it's like a meat target, basically. Like the Giants and Clash of Clans. It could be like, you could drop those anywhere, but not only are they a target to draw the attention of other people, but uh, it attacks back. So I kind of might want to start using that Flaming Sphere more. I think I want to do that. I think I want to have that in there. There's also, uh, shit. Let me, let me go, go look in my history here. Premium history back. Ooh, that killer spaghetti looked good. Ten most underrated spells in Baldur's Gate. Um, 
telekinesis we've got. Um, what's the one that pulls everybody in? Oh, oh, that's the other one that I've got that, okay, th that causes a distraction is a mirror illusion. Whoever's got that, that's a great one to have. Uh, because a mirror illusion, apparently, you can cast it somewhere and it draws everyone's attention so that they group into one place and that gets them in one spot and when they get there you can put turn base mode on and hold them in that one spot so you can drop like just wicked artillery and take out large groups all at once one like 12 minute video today just like holy shit it helped me understand a little bit more of these spells that I don't use because I don't really understand, so therefore I don't use them. He also said that Tasha's hideous laughter is something that is underutilized because um, you can literally knock it, knock the largest beast prone with that and take them out of the like for 10 turns to take them out of <clears throat> like to take them out of the equation basically leave camp where we at Angle Irons Basement. <clears throat> Cave Exit. The boss is expecting you. Hasn't forgotten what you did for him at Moonrise. Word. Look, unless you're an expert in steel watcher gyroscopics, please get out of my light. Well, you're a fucking cunt, and I don't like you. You think I want my clan facing down one of those walking death machines with cutlery? Then leave me to my work. You are a very disgruntled Only group. if you're quick. <clears throat> what do you got? You got anything out here? I don't use any unarmed attacks. Marginal exertion. <clears throat> All right, we'll take some of these then. Look cool. Um, 
Okay, I'll take one of these. Or a couple of these. spend a bunch of money so I can he's I got enough to buy the shit that I'm about to sell him back <clears throat> mm. all these letters I've read so I can sell that shit Strange chunk of amber. <clears throat> Diamond. Am I supposed to keep that rusty spear for something? I feel like that might be like a murder weapon or something. Maybe not. I think that's good. Now let me get back to it. All right, we'll we'll, uh, we'll unload the spear later. It's not like anything's. <clears throat> Crazily encumbered. Oh, I can't take nothing in here, so I may as well just go on up the ladder. Unless over here is where I'm supposed to go. <coughs> I shouldn't say anything to you until you've spoken to Auburn. He's very... particular. Okay. All right, Wilburn. 
Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? I spent a lot of time thinking of worst-case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. We don't have a chance unless we stick together. Not while the Gondians' metal monsters are patrolling the streets. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. A tyrant's nothing without lackeys. And the Gondians are the perfect lackeys. Dangerously intelligent, pathetically submissive. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and boom. Problem solved. Let's see what this says. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. Oh, boy. So take the ball. Oh. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. As long as you see sense, I don't care when you see it. The foundry is in the lower city, down by the docks. Beautiful building, belching smoke into the sky day and night. Getting inside won't be easy, but when you do, place the bomb at the heart of the facility. Get yourself back to street level. The streets will be clear of watchers in no time. Whoa.
be interesting. No keyhole. Some other mechanism is keeping this locked. spilled the blacksmith vanished this can't be good mm. a note written in blood the parchment is cheap and smells faintly of iron and smoke how I soured and salted the smith for you, and yet you dared not devour him. I will not let his bitter meat spoil, not when Bale could savor it. Or in. Wow. It's all like old school shit. That's that shit we need now. No, not in the ledger. Hmm. Where did he get to? Gildra? Oh, a customer. Sorry. How can I help you? Oh, how about that? <clears throat> yes, that's him. He's usually the first one in, but he's not shown up today. It's not the same without the sound of his bellows in the back and his stories. <laughs> he tells the best stories. Do you know him? Oh, that's a shame. You'd like him. He's a living legend. Do you know he's won best smith in Rivington seven years in a row? It's Gildrell Angelion, for God's sakes. If you knew how good he was, trust me. You'd feel exactly the same way. Of course. Gildro's finest. All right. <clears throat> All right, armor. What are we working with here? Mighty cloth. Bull strength is good for what we got. All right. So let's see. 
Medium armor, nope, nope, nope. Elven chain, medium armor, nope. Medium, <clears throat> light leather armor. <clears throat> Mighty cloth is probably better given the bull rush. That's better armor class for sure. But the other one's better. This looks really good. This shield looks really good. I think I want this shield. Shrouds the wear with force conduit at the start of its turn in combat, and it has the same. But the Adamanite means that they can't land critical hits on me. Yeah, that sold me on that. Uh, can't land critical hits. Stalker gloves. No, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. Keep your distance, darling. Yeah, I don't see any. I don't see anything really, really worth it. Gildro, tell him, tell him everything's under control. Well, what does that mean there? We'll figure something out. Are you all right? I'm fine. You're the one who took a beating. Survived the beating. Let that be the end of it. One way to skin a trap. It'll make things worse. We need to let those thugs get away with this. You have much work to the guild. They can get away with whatever they like. Mummy! You promised you'd get us inside the city. You said you'd do whatever it takes. Help us. At least let the children in. That was before I saw the joy of the two months of guarding the checkpoint. What do you remember? Eye color, hairstyle, accent, anything. We'll be here any day. Do with his death, my lord. I swear it. That'll be great. 
headline. Citizens only. I won't say it again. But we won't clear from arm. There's nowhere else to go. Well, the gate by the well. Is this the well? of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Jin and Dribbles the Clown back with a new act. Get to train the dogs again, Miss Martha. When you prove yourself not to be an incompetent idiot. Woof! A charming effort, but you can't fool me. You're not a dog. So what the hell are you doing in my kennels? Mm hmm. Found him, did you? I can't say I'm surprised. Gomwick never kept him on a tight leash. Bring him here, and I'll give him a once-over for you. Check him for worms and so on. Oh, yes, please. I'd love to see him. He's a good dog. We'd both love to see him again. Hell yeah, I'd love to bring that dog back to see you. Up, Dringo, and get back to work. And you've been slacking as well, Scratch, my boy. This dog is property of Sword Coast Couriers. I'll take him off your hands now. Oh no! There's about to be a problem over this fucking dog, bro. Dude, we, we about to go to war with this bitch over this fucking dog, bro. Bro. Y'all don't understand the level of war we're about to go to with this bitch over this fucking dog. I have played catch with this dog. This dog lives at the camp with us. can do whatever I please. He's my dog. Now get out. This is a private yard. All right. And guess what? We'll roll until we get it. such thing 
it's not just Scratch. She's always hurting the dogs. Shut your mouth, Dringo. Last warning. run my kennels is none of your concern. Take your mutt and get out of my yard. As for you, Dringo, get out of my yard. You're finished here. For. That's hilarious. Without the right papers. You promised you'd get us inside the city. Said you'd do whatever it takes. She ain't gonna pet that dog. She ain't gonna pet my dog. She ain't gonna hit my dog. A few days in a jail cell. At least we'd have a bed. Dude, I hey. I'm fucking that bitch up over my dog. Can I pet that dog? There's no point arguing with the guards. We're not getting past that checkpoint without the right papers. You promised you'd get inside the city. You said you'd do whatever it takes. So, my big thing. Ew. That I wanted to do was Ugh. Oh, this. The open hand temple murders. That's where we were last night. Find the lock to fit the flower key. I may have lied earlier when I said I did look into this a little bit as well after I got into the the spell stuff. I have to go to a place that I don't exactly know where it is. I didn't look too much into it. I didn't want to spoil anything, but I saw the name of this thing, but it leaps my memory at this point mm. um but i have to go there oh and what actually is one of those steel where my keys at where my keys where my keys where my keys at this key right here frago's flop house where no point is Frago's flop house? The right and how do I find that? Rivington, Gurkamp. Worms Crossing. Is it in Worms Crossing?
There's more to the south to see of Rivington. I'm dead center right now of what I've got, which is kind of funny. It's the Open Hand Temple. All of this, I think, is leading... And that all of that will clear the murder. Like, finding whatever I gotta find in that... Whatever that key opens. Um... Let's just go jump in this one. Hey. None of them has sticky fingers. The missus and I have been dreaming about the city. No more sleeping rough. Didn't expect to find it locked down tighter than a watcher's fist. Yeah, I hear you, but you said something about a flop house. Where is that? Is this the flop house? I just want somewhere warm and, and safe. You are safe, my love. I'm here. I won't let anything happen to you. Look at you. You're exhausted. You've been pulling all nighters to keep watch. I know you have. I don't mind it. Honestly. Well, I do. Which means we're getting a real room. Maybe it's these doors? Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. Let me show you. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, take all these you got every time I can get them. I'll take them. All of these you got every time I can get them, we'll take them. All of these you got every time I can get a whole of them, I take them. Give me three days and... Oh, I... Apologies. Thought you were someone else. Uh, greetings, so forth, so on. The landlord, Sir Frego Antuna. A, a most generous soul, I assure you. So business ain't doing so good, huh? You look famished. I've got some victuals that'll warm you right up. Hmm. Have a skeg at these. Oh, hell yeah, bro. Guess what? Your boy like to eat. Your boy like to eat. <laughs> 
We take all the food. That should do you. Yeah, well, believe it or not, that is kind of like an empty pit that I have within me. Uh, you know. It's just, uh. You know, I can just have this thing where if I start eating, I can just continuously eat. Ooh, y'all, I made this bomb-ass uh, spaghetti. I told y'all about it last night. I ate some more of it today. And tonight, I will eat even more of it. Um, whoa, no. How do you, uh, oh, brute, yeah, there we go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Feather fall. Noxious spore grenade. Why not? Why not? Craft all of them. We just making shit, dog. We just making potions and whatnot. Y'all know me. Y'all remember, I'm a potion making motherfucker, motherfucker. Y'all remember? Y'all remember from Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy? Hey, buddy. What do you reckon, lad? You trust these steel watcher thingamajigs? 
What's the steel watcher? You burned your head recently. Didn't you spot him by the gate? Big metal bastards. Even bigger swords. It's all right where well, we can get work repairing them, but what happens when they build something else to do that? Uh, it's no good, I tell you. Oh, word. I tell you, I, I don't really get scared of shit like that because I ain't no fucking bitch, dude. The plans to expand his territory. Take Candlekeep. Maybe even R. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. No more are needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 <laughs> years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done, and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Oh, Casadour vampire people. promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, doll. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Am free. You, you can't mean that. He's playing mind games. He can't raise a hand to the master, let alone kill him. You have no idea what I can do. Damn right, homie. No! Where is he hiding? Tell me! No! No! Brother, please! Tell me what I need to know, or I swear you'll burn. The master is preparing the Black Mass beneath his palace. There's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time, hidden from us all. True Blood was sick, dude. It ended shittily, but True Blood was so good at the beginning. Casador. What the hell's happened to you, Astoria? What are you? I'm more than what I was. And I'm not afraid of anything anymore. Atta the boy. sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I'm the only person who can stop him. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. When you came in, the air went out. When every shadow. Yes. And they'll be trembling in fear down. when we tell them. They're no threat to us. They have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's all already set. Bad things <laughs> They're doomed. You. The only question <laughs> is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador <laughs> or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils on seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him. And take that power for ourselves. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Um. Trust me, I'd rather slaughter someone else's family, but if that's what it takes, and it's not like their sweet innocence, they brought Casador just as many victims as I did. 
But then... <laughs> You're not getting sentimental, are you? I thought you were with me but on this. Whatever, Shadow. Then we'll deal with Shut it. Up, put it, down. it can't be worse than everything else we've faced. You got a point there, dude. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right. Let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. <sighs> Not everyone subscribes to what is mine is yours, it seems. Yeah, I hear you, bud. How do I uh, get to... Uh... Yeah, I'm just going to climb this ladder over here. This is what I've been looking for right here. That key from the shapeshifter. Looks like it fits right here. Two hands now, two hands, two of them, more needed, not enough, must cover myself in glory to be covered in blood more. Whose perception was unsuccessful? Hmm. My some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. I, I trust it. I trust it. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Got to pull out the body. Familiar design, this key. That dead shapeshifter in the tunnels had one just like it. Well, we found the body. And we found out this, but obviously we haven't completed the thing yet, so. Um. The blood you noticed earlier still remains on the floor. find something useful. Organs stuffed in vials. No doubt they were donated willingly. I should take that. Yeah, take that cheese, take that F bank.
That's not any. A map. Shapeshifter's location and Father Logan's name on top. The killer must have been here. We need that. Messy splatters of deep red brown adorn this scrap of parchment. Those wishing to face the dread Lord's Tribunal and enter the Temple of Baal must slay the targets on this list and frame the corpses as a murder by the Cult of the Absolute. Bring the victim's hand as proof of the killing. Walk in blood aspirant. Duke Belin Stelmain, Elf Song Tavern, Lower City, killed. Father Logan, Open Hand Temple, Rivington, killed. Dribbles the Clown, Circus of the Last Days, Rivington, killed. Alexander Rainforest, Office Near the Counting House, Lower City, killed. Frank Peartree, Abode Near Philgore's Fireworks, Lower City, killed. Cora Highbury, Large home near Baldur's Mouth Gazette, Lower City. Figaro Pinnigood, Face Makers Fashion, Lower City. Chef Rovere, Elf Song Tavern Kitchen, Lower City. Nisha Leisha, Blushing Mermaid, Lower City. Vary Van Thumper, Van Thumper Villa, Upper City. Friedrich Hune, Hune House, Upper City. All alive. Pick up. Jay, we found the lair of a bailiff's murderer in Frego's flop house. A target list in the lair details the kill's instructions. Slay specific Baldurians and frame the absolute fort Father Lorgan, priest of the nearby Wayne Temple's name on the list. Perhaps we should warn someone. <coughs> Yes, that sounds like a wonderful idea. We'll take it. Um, nah, I don't need any of that. Uh. Should we give Gail a new shirt? Let's give Gail a new shirt. Seek and you shall find me. Yeah, see, let's give Gail a new shirt. I tell you what, is there anything in here for Historian? Just rust, dusty, gray clothes. You know what? We'll give Historian something new soon. He's probably used to. He's probably sick of the old stuff. Boba said he likes to change it up here the other day, and I didn't. Diabolic tales collected by Greshnag, the inattentive impish archivist. Entry 18, Smiler to Defiler. If your wonders through Averna seem to become an awful lot more scenic, luscious woods, big bushes, and the like, you may have wandered into the wily trap set by a creature named Smiler. None of us hell folk know what, exactly what he is, where he's from, or how he got here, but he's a nasty piece of work. Well, he's called the Defiler, ain't he? He's not just nasty. Plenty folk are nasty here, but he's weird. Something's not right. The book continues in a similarly unenlightening fashion. Bam. We already read that note. Easy enough. <laughs> 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 
Now I gotta go talk to the elephant. Where's the elephant? Y'all remember where the elephant was? How about we just get D-F-O-O-H? This is Charisse's caress. Charisse's caress, where the only thing that goes down easier than our drinks is our food. Another case closed, another bottle open. Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a dick. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? Ugh. I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine. If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? <laughs> well, that is startling, it still doesn't disprove my theory that Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, does it? That's what you need if you want to change my mind. Hard evidence. A reason, too, if you're at it. Why was Lorgan killed? A Baal plot. You as well. devella has been harping on about Baal for months. Fancies herself something of an expert. I assumed it was just a bunch of conspiracy codswallop and fear-mongering. But she's been unusually insistent about this one, even for her. <sighs> Fine. I'll bite. What's your theory? No need to wave documents at me. I'm already drowning in paperwork as it is. Constable Devella is going to be a real pain in the trunk about this. Since you seem to be on an obnoxiously similar wavelength, why don't you seek her out? She'll be at the Elf Song Tavern. Show her the list, and I'll stay and inform the fist here. Oh, and you'll need this pass. It'll give you access to the lower city. Well, what are you waiting for? You've a bloody conspiracy to solve. Move. Hell yeah. We completed a thing. We still got to collect body parts, even though we know
what was that? What was I just supposed to go do? There's somebody else I needed to meet in Sher Sheriff's caress, right? There's there's a lot of stuff I got to do in this room, right? Other than open these Sour Patch watermelon gummy. A weary traveler, battered and bruised. You come for sustenance. No, decadence. A mien cool as ice, yet eyes burning hot. Oh yes, I know your bliss. A sturdy dwarf, a leather whip. She Ooh. gives, you receive. Ooh. Or have I misjudged you? Of course you wouldn't. Who can resist the pleasure of the strap? Once leather meets flesh. It's Fion you seek, our stern librarian. She isn't here today, alas. Your penance must wait. Well, we've other ways to fill your void. A drink for one, a pair of drow for another. Choose your sin. By the mother of cats, I pray she didn't suffer. I hate to be They'll the one to tell you. Face. Else, the regulars will miss her more. They swarmed her like honeybees at the hive. Oh. Losing Fion slashed a big hole in my coin purse. I should get to replacing her. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so about the drow escort, so. I'm gonna be that guy. Nisha, our lovely nymph. But she's engaged in the nymph's grotto on the top floor, sweeting. The client's a favorite of hers, too. I doubt you'll be able to tear her away. But we are blessed to have a devil in residence at the moment. A temporary guest. But he asked that I send any potential clients his way. Everyone who's paid a visit looks quite changed by the experience. No, thank you. The lower, lower city, is that south? Okay. 
Because if that's the case, there's two people I need to talk to in the lower city. Wait, you wanna see what's up with two drows? A drow or a drink, sweetie. There is no thirst I cannot quench. Twins, yes. Ooh. Hands of such skill they could turn stone to silk. Your body could suffer, no not they can't untangle. They're through the curtain to the right. Oh, shit. You need coin and stamina in abundance to enjoy their services, but the gold will be as well spent as you are. Indeed he did. Raphael. Exceedingly handsome, and with a voice that could make the foulest blasphemy seem the sweetest hymn. Raphael is the is a star in homie. It's a guy and a chick. You can stare as much as you like. Fair enough. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. <laughs> what do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me, or <laughs> sweet and sincere with my sister. Mm. Trust me. You don't want to miss my signature Mezoberanzan love trick. And is that your partner with you? What a gorgeous couple. Perhaps we could come to an agreement. <laughs> we want both of you, silly. Oh, shit. At the same time. I do not share what is mine, and I will not be shared. You know what, honey? You're right. Good. Honey, you know what? You're completely right. I barely got a moment sleep last night, and no. This isn't where we want to be in our lives. Let's run out of here as fast as we can. Uh, not for me. No, thank you. Not for me. No, thank you. Would never entertain that. Yeah. No, thank you. I just ate too much sugar at once. Honey, you're absolutely right. That's exactly what I was going to say. I can't believe these people would suggest such a... Can you believe people do things like this in the world these days? I mean, I just can't believe that 
people would do such things these days. And I only went in to ask because they, everybody told me to my, you know, my, all my friends, they said, go, go talk to them. I wouldn't do, I wasn't even interested. I, I tried to walk away. You see, that's the truth. What is it? Just the truth. What do you mean? It's the truth. I try to walk away. I, I, I try to not even, I try to look, look, hold on. Look, look, I'm telling you, I, I tried to walk away. I tried to walk away. I tried to, you know, I didn't want to be part of, I, I didn't want anything to do with it. I'm going to be honest. I, I'm honest. I didn't want anything to do with it. I, I from the beginning, from the get go, I, uh, I didn't want nothing to do with it. I said, nope, not for me. No, thank you, Miss Brothel Lady. Um, I'm good. I don't care anything about Drow Twins um, or or Sex Devils. Nope, not. I'm in a happy relationship. We kiss once every few nights. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Definitely got no sexual frustration built up, you know. Definitely haven't, uh, you know, been fighting the urge to just uh, uh, hump anything that fucking moves. Definitely not fighting that urge at all in this game. You know, we're just, it's this, what this is, is this is a happy, uh, uh, good relationship that's beneficial for both sides. And um, we're both way cool with uh, our agreement and this and that, so forth and uh, such. Um, this is just, this is just, uh, you know, we're just, this is, this is what, this is what a, a happy, content relationship is like. Just like this, so that when we get, we get the option to, 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 to try something a little little different even 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 different than what we do you know to uh, you know on a regular basis um you know um you know just i'm just saying hey you know i'm just this is just this is love you know this is 40 this is love this is uh this is us you know this is us we're happy. We're happy with this, you know, scenario that we got. We don't need to be going into brothels, hooking up with uh, uh, these two twins. Definitely don't need that. No, thank you. Not for me. Matter of fact, I'm glad this place is on my map now, so I know to avoid it. You know, somebody wants to meet me here in the future. I'm, I'm going to just meet them and I'm, I'm not saying anything to anybody else. I'm not saying nothing to nobody else. I'm just going to meet these people. I'm going to meet them and I'm going to come right back home. Uh, you know what? You can come with me when I meet them. You can be there the whole time. I won't ever press G and separate the group. I, I'll, I'll, I'll never, definitely never come in here by myself. Um, definitely never do that. Okay. Just, uh, you never have to worry about that. You you just you could be there when I meet somebody here, you know, and we can we can just talk. We can just talk uh, to the people when we get here, and and guess what? You know, that'll be that. We'll have the meeting. We'll talk. We'll get whatever updates on our, uh, you know. Anyway, I just wanted to get all that out real quick while. Uh, before we progress farther uh, to the low country. Uh, yeah, to the low country, okay? All right, good. good. Glad, glad, we, uh, glad we talked about that. I, I wasn't going to say nothing. Hey, but now that we're down here... Uh, Coin. 
What's that thing they gave us? The holder of this pass is to be provided with access to Lower City. So, am I foolish for thinking the Lower City is south? And that, is that actually down here? I still got to search the barn. Just go see. Really there now. See the city. Look on the hill. Is the lower city actually north from there? Is that is that real? Is that a real thing? Do I really need to be up there and go north? Investigate Charesse's caress and find Voss in Charesse's caress. There's so much I got. See, you know what? I'm going back. I guess I got to go back to Charesse's caress. But I promise I don't want to. I mean, I'll go back, but I I don't want I don't want to go back. I I want to just stay home with you and do puzzles. I I don't want to go back. I would rather just I want to watch that movie again. I just want to stay home and watch that show again. Uh, yeah, let's just. Okay, so hey, you 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 coming? You coming? Are you here? Okay, because uh, you know what? Why don't why don't why don't you why don't you go first? Um, you talk to people. Hey, you can talk to. Damn them. hoots! That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want. But I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Ah, oh, I forget we've never met. I've had my eyes and ears on you so long we feel like old friends. Carilla is my name. I'm Raphael's assistant, shall we say. Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. I gotta go see the devil. A scant few customs today. Where is he?
easy. Snap. Is this the uh, the customer that is hard to get? Grotto. I'll come back. But very well then. I kinda gotta I'm not about to interrupt something actually. I changed my mind now that I looked down and read that. That's exactly what I was about to do was interrupt something important. I shouldn't interrupt that. Wait, and all this stuff is good for looting? Like, I can loot all of this stuff? Ah, the devil's den. Okay. Let's go talk to this fool. F5, did it save me there? He's got 666 hit points. Hell yeah, dude. These are two people I needed to talk to in the same motherfucking room. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, to Luck Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. <laughs> I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet, but to the final reckoning. 
One more thing before we begin, though. For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. <laughs> Wouldn't that be exquisite? But no. I'm afraid the tadpole is still there. But I did shut out your other visitor for a while, so we can enjoy some privacy. The Illithid can't hear us. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away, which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far, but no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. In a manner of speaking, but it's the one inside the prison that you need, not the Illithid, the Gith. I can give you the means to break him free. Speak, devil. We're listening. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then, it is settled, is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime. Laser. Damn, do I do this, y'all? I have craved it ever since the Archwizard Cassus created it, long centuries ago, and brought doom to the Empire of Netheril. That was the great age of humanity, and Netheril's flying sky cities were the apex of civilization. I was there the day it all fell apart. Entire cities plummeted from the sky. That doesn't sound like a good like deal, buddy. angels with broken wings. The screams, oh, the screams. Hundreds of thousands of people watching in horror as the ground came up to meet them. <laughs> it was not a happy meeting, and Cassus was responsible. Not driven by malice, but by ambition. 
he forged a crown imbued with all the powers of magic. A crown that would make any who wore it a god. Men cannot contain so much power. The crown destroyed its creator, and his empire fell with him. Cassus's folly, the bards and scholars call it. I call it hope. The hope of creating a better world, and the perils of unchecked hubris. I knew then that the folly of mortals could be the triumph of devils and that I could use that crown to unite the Nine under one Archdevil Supreme, me. See, for me, it's that you are saying me a lot. And I don't like how you're looking at me this long with that look in your eyes. This is not what this is about. And the hells require order to function. It is what mm -hmm. separates us from mortals and mm -hmm. demons. With the crown, I would impose perfect order, unity, efficiency, control. My kingdom would control its borders and stay within them. Hedden. The archdevil Mephistopheles snatched up the crown and squirreled it away in one of his vaults. He is not more than a frigid archivist. So much power and potential kept inert. He made a miracle into a museum piece. I raged. But only for a decade or so. Then I waited. Ever watching for more than a thousand years. For a mistake. A mishap. A misadventure. And these chosen who have caused you so much trouble accidentally did me a favor. They brought the crown back into play. Yes, it does. Especially when I see what a bloody mess they've made of their whole scheme. They must have raided Mephistopheles' vault. Impressive, I must admit. But they'll be dead soon. If you don't kill them, the Elder Brain will. It doesn't have feelings in the way you'd understand them. <laughs> but it seems rather angry. It is inevitable. When you destroy the Brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. He claims his ambition is to unite the hells, but can he be trusted to stop there? Do you trust him more than you trust the Emperor? Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. I want to say this. I'd rather destroy the crown than risk it falling into the wrong hands again. I'm going to say this. How short-sighted. 
Much better to put it into the right hands. Hands that will ensure it is removed from this world. And it's the only way you can ensure that you remain part of this world. Deal or no deal, I gotta say no deal. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. I know you're pissed. The means to loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Why? Is he any worse than Asmodeus, do you suppose? The reigning serpent, he who harvests souls to fight an unwinnable blood war. Worse than Mephistopheles, the devil who slayed his own son. He whose experiments threatened to melt his own frozen throne. <sighs> Your mind is made up. But there's another option. Glory be to the comet. The devil keeps the Orphic hammer in his lair. If we can find a way in, we can take it. I'll use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk, Githgar, Tefki, crash it. The Githyanki will be free. First to Voss, then to Raphael's House of Hope. I'm down Just with that. Don't expect a lavish spread awaiting us this time. I could go for a lavish spread, if you know what I mean. There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Raphael, well, thank you for your honesty. Of course, I should have known the devil would come sniffing. The stench of impending chaos is irresistible to them. And what did he want with you? How interesting. No doubt he impressed upon you the need to do so. And what did he want in return for this knowledge? I am glad you had the sense to turn him down. But it certainly does matter. Anything that threatens our alliance, threatens our chances of defeating the Elder Bridge. So I ask you again, what were the terms of the deal he offered you? Why are you trying to, that's between me and the devil. I see. You feel the touch of the emperor's mind peeling at the edge of yours, trying to gain access. That is a fair Damn right it is. presence withdrawing from the fringes of your awareness. I shall respect your privacy on this occasion. But know that if you have jeopardized our mutual project, I will be forced to reconsider our alliance. Now come. We have an elder brain to destroy. Okay. Gauntlet Devella in the Elf Song Tavern. Was that the thing I needed to do first? Talk to him. Consider it done. Y'all still busy in here? Oh, 
they still busy in there. Is that something worth doing? I don't want to do it. Everybody in the thing. Everybody in the thing is just. Everybody in the group ain't about that life. A little discourse. Voss. Friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. I did not come this far for you to turn your back on the First Mother's son. Gith cards have Kim crashed. You put your trust in me, Voss. I plan to honor it. Yes, and it seems I have no choice but to trust. There is but one prism, and you are its key. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is Dick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. The Prince of the Comet aches for Gith Yankee liberation more than he abhors Geich. He might seethe when you free him. He might gnash his teeth and slander your name, but he will see reason. I promise you. A devil of Raphael's stature does not simply make camp on the shores of the Styx. He will have made a sanctuary for himself, a lavish one too, one that caters to his many vices. The House of Hope. We must find a way in. The House of Hope, you say? I couldn't ask for a name more fitting. Every house has an entrance, Istik. Even those in the Hells. You must find it. You are wasting your time. And mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. So now I guess we gotta find an entrance to hell. Hey! Hey, Raphael, a visit. I want to hear all about you.
How about that? Well, then let's go to camp. And let's go tell Lazel that we're going to give her a little break ever since she's got to think about some. She's got to think about some things. Hey, good looking. How can I assist? Well, kind of want to put something in you. Camp, are you certain? Just for now, baby girl. Very well. I'll keep watch until you call on me. Thank you, sweetheart. So Bal's chosen is a doppelganger. <sighs> I should not be surprised. They have ever been among his favorite servants. Orin is testing you. Either she thinks herself a predator, playing with her food, or she fears what you might do. Good. She's circling. Have no doubt of that. Hmm. The last time I fought doppelgangers, the Balspawn Saravok was using them to subvert the city government, aid his rise to power. But Orin is more predator than politician, I think. She simply wants to make us feel hunted, isolated. Tell the Lordling that Orin is watching. Seems that. Gortash and Orin have had a little falling out. We should leverage that. As you wish. Maybe double up the guidance. I don't know. Oh, this is the level two. I have a feeling I'm going to have to do this a lot. Person and spike growth. Mirror image and misty step seem like a good thing to have. Hell blur in silence. Bark skin, hold person. Invisibility without trace. Mirror image, spike growth. Huh. Arctic, maybe? No, coast, I mean. Mirror image and misty step, I guess. I think that'll work. I like having Misty Step just in case. Let's do that. I'm gonna have to do this a lot though.
what do you give to somebody like her? She's a druid. Bump up her dexterity. A little bit so she don't get hit so much. I think that's the thing. Dexterity to she can dodge getting hit. Put them into wisdom. Oh shit. Speaking of wisdom, I'll be right back. Fuck. I, mean, I gotta check close. Maybe mountain? A sleet storm and call lightning, maybe. Go coast again. Protection from energy and hypnotic pattern. I don't know what those are. That might not be bad, but plant growth. That might be, forest might be a good thing to go with there. Later, Jason. Hypnotic pattern's good. We'll try it, because 
That's a cool thing where I can protect somebody else from some shit, too. I got more that is, that's going to be coming up. Because I think I got to level up to like a lot of levels. Conjure Minor Elemental, Ice Storm, Freedom of Movement and Confusion, Blight, and Wall of Fire. I think I gotta select that. I don't even think I need to go further. Yeah, I think I gotta go Blight and Wall of Fire just for the damage that it does. Like we could double up with her and Gail both doing a wall of fire. It would just like fuck up literally everything. out her wisdom what do we max out her wisdom and hit her with a little Restoration. That's not a bad thing to have. I think I want to go Arctic. For the damage alone. Let's go Arctic. I don't see us using her a whole lot. So... a good spell to have big damage conjure elemental is good greater restoration is also good but insect plague Mass Cure Wounds is good. Having somebody else that can do that. 
Maybe we'll take that. Maybe we'll take the mass cure wounds. Yeah. Let's take that. We'll give her resistance, fuck it. Alright, I hope everything is alright. Oh, hey. You know what we gotta do now? Oh, no, we don't want to end the day. We just want to leave camp. All right, girl. So, the flop house. So this is the flop house, and you said, where do I got to check out with her? I know there's an empty, like this on the map that I haven't seen yet. Is this the place I need to go look? over for sure. What do we have available for her? Is she... Oh yeah, hundred percent. Um, I could give her that maybe. Instead of the spider silk. But that's while obscured. Maybe I give her the spider silk instead.
Maybe the battle mage gloves. She is wearing armor. Ooh, this is good for her because her wisdom's high. Cause we got the I guess the two spells. Let's get rid of that. She's got the healing thing. We'll give her that, too. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about the boots. We'll give her that. That gives her a spell. Anything. Took it from Lazelle. Now she's healing people. I don't think we have cloaks. Ranged. We don't have any ranged weapons. Nobody has anything. No. Nope. We'll get you something. All right. There you go. There you go. There you go. Bro. They enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. <laughs> Sir, I had no less than two maidens and a bachelor clawing us my daughter's belly. How long do the effects last? Depends on the person and their virility. For you, I'd recommend. How do you get into this place? That seems like a lot. And what do I do here? To pleasure your fine maiden, to feel her fingers grip yours in pure ecstasy. Shh. People will eat. Just 
Oh, do I need to get inside the brothel and get in there? Is that where I'm supposed to go? Or am I supposed to come over here? Dante Lons is up those stairs. And he's hung blooms beside the door. So the Harpers are waiting too. Oh, so you saw something. Yes, darling. It's very leather-like. Well, we're shopping for a suit. Dinner with my parents, remember? This armor was such a bargain. We can't return it. Welcome to Danthelon's dancing axe. Our stock isn't used. It's tried and tested by the finest adventurers. Don't draw any trouble on old Enthar. He acts like he's up for it, but he's retired for a reason. Talk, talk, talk. Greetings, sir. Your noble bearing brings a little class to my humble... Oh, you can turn off the charm, Enthar. He's with me. Blueberries. Thought I had a sale. You look tired, Harper. I missed you, too. They're already here? Down below. Here's the key. Uh, now? Oh, I hell forbid someone might pay for my services, Jahira. Harper's nesting in your cellar tends to scare off business. So, if you mean to sling some coin around, only Jahira will complain. So she's not prevented with or proficient in any sort of ranged weapon. I was literally going to get her a thing to shoot with, but she has nothing. Maybe she's not meant to, uh, maybe she's not meant to have any ranged weapons. Case. A pleasure. Jakira needs more friends like you. Right, Sommy. You're on the door till our friends are done. God forbid we do any business today. Going 
going. You told me the armor was a bargain. It was! With good armor. Hi, Harper. May Salunas tears shine on this meeting. A very formal greeting, Geraldus. You are well? Yes, hi, Harper. Uh, standing beneath Saluna's tears. The lad's a little nervous, Jahira. We heard of your great victory against Ketherick. I understand, Geraldus. Take a moment. And you, Harper. Mm. There is something familiar about you. Doesn't she remind you of our old friend Marcus? Jahira's meaning is clear. Marcus was a traitor laying a trap. The same, it seems, is happening here. Cub. This is an ambush. Strike first, while they focus on me. You know what, dude? Maybe I should have F5'd, but I haven't really done too much already. For Geraldus, who is a 64. And he is being held captive, so we can't kill him. Could do. With Got to focus. 
no better moment. Better you feed the soil. mortals be. Mark. How many more Harpers dead? What now? You told me the armor was a bomb. Keep it quick. Did I... Uh, did I get it right? Shalunas tears. It is said no false face can stand beneath their light. An old code Harper. But yes, you got it right. Now I need your report. We had eyes on suspected cultists in the city, like you asked. We thought we were tracking them, but... They were tracking you instead, evidently. Doppelgangers. And they're not just working with the cult, our High Harper. They're part of it. Balists, I think. Sworn to Orin the Red, yes. We've already had the pleasure. Go on. Everything seemed fine until your latest orders. Until we started to search for the Rashima. They struck the same night. I woke to one of them strangling Chelvin while smiling at me out of her face. She said, It said that I'd report back to you as normal. Lou, are you here? And I had no choice. I'm sure it felt that way, Geraldus. The others were likely dragged back to Orin. Tortured. Sacrificed. I do not expect you to die for me. But to risk Entharl? Any citizen who might have wandered in? There is always a choice. And the Harper must be able to make the hard ones. Perhaps this isn't the life for you after all, Geraldus. No, Jahira! Hi, Harper! Please! I'm still a Harper. I want to help! You've scarcely signed up, boy. And there is a war coming. Why die a Harper when you could still live as anything else?
Ogunclee. I did not tell you all about what I hope to learn here today. I will rectify that. But first, Geraldus, does your mother still own that farm in the Dale Lands? Yes, High Hub. Just Jahira to you now. Go on. I have all the help I need. I wonder. Yes. There you go. Starring is a new suit. Harpers appear to operate independently, each separate cell feeding into a ranking member who oversees a larger network. It's an effective method. Distributing their efforts and ensuring that each unit is safeguarded against the infiltration of the others, but once already compromised, their structure is their greatest weakness. With no individual Harper being able to tell where the contamination began and how far it has spread. And so while they scramble to rebuild themselves, we carry on with the Chosen's work. to wear those harper smiles much longer Orin has given the order kill the crone but not before you tell her how her little soldiers died preserve some hair or sinew if you can the chosen would like to string a harp of her own Yeah, dude. Imagine that, dude. He was just trying to do a good job, and he just did not do a good enough job. Sounds like you've left some buddies to bury. Plus side, enthalpies over time. 
I like the way you look at shit, homie. You all right. Sorry to be handling that business in your hood, but what? By the Morton Summons Curtis went on down there. Of course. Of course they bloody did. Oh, clear out then. I'm guessing I have some tidying to do before the steel watch squeals by. I don't care much for your timing, but I like your gold well enough. Fair enough. I'm just getting that cloak because somebody has got to wear it. I'm not going to give it to Jahira quite yet because I think that might be all we needed her for, right? Just that. Short Father, bless you. In that case, let's go back to camp, drop her off, get, get Lazel back. Maybe Carlac could jump back in for a little while. I hadn't had Carlac in for a minute. We'd have to upgrade her and everything. Lazel's already ready to go. <laughs> Orin knows the hunt. In one stroke, she places the Harpers beyond our reach. Separates us from our pack. Until we know who the False Facers are, we cannot trust anyone beyond ourselves. Kindness, I hope. My missteps have cost enough lives. I have not been overly generous with the truth. I came here to learn of the Chosen. True enough. But I set my heart for searching for someone else, too. Tell me, what do you know of a man named Mince of Rashomon? Despite her expectant gaze, the name means nothing to you. That depends entirely on the quality of bard you listen to. Street whalers spin stories from the time of troubles, and they save the strangest ones for Minsk. It happens that in his case, most of them are true. Minsk is an old friend, perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mins charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day.
The world takes much from those who presume to defend it. But sometimes, you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. I'm not asking for promises. Just the chance. Oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. I'll have a better idea of what that is once we're through the gates. Seems I need to reacquaint myself with this damned city. By all means. Yes? You're sure? Later, then. I tell you not to get in trouble, but I suspect it will find you whether you like it or not. Night trouble. Oh, hey. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda wanna see what come to bask in the glow of the moon maiden's sword? Be most welcome. I wanna see what she looks like. Oh, you, you can only ask her to join permanently. Keeping very well, I hope. They can't join the camp. Hey, how are you? We can't rely on the Harpers. Not when Orin has them infested with shapeshifters. We're on our own. Though, I suppose we're used to it by now. Shapeshifters in the Harpers. My dad always admired their mission. Said they gave up their entire lives so we could live safely and ask for nothing in return. We'll rout them, right? For the city and for dad. We'll keep Carlac for a while. Aces. We can up her strength. To like 19. That sound good.
she's a 105 now, dude. Actually, I should have done a long rest while I was there. We got enough shit to do it with. <coughs> What's up, Jade? Yes. There might be, but mm, it's not a path I dread until we must. Let it wait until the city proper. Perhaps I'll have had a better idea by then. Ask it. It's certainly good to be back at camp. How I've missed the smells. I just hope Dringo is fine. Mahia has a mean streak. That's what you wanted to say to me, buddy. You know what? It was worth every bit of it. I'm glad I, I'm glad I used a potion to talk to you. How about you, Albear Cub, while we're on the subject? You want to talk? Hello. You are not food. You are friend. And you're a sweetie pie. Nice here. The caves smell like rotting meat. Goblin cat smells like goblins. Well, you forget about all that because you don't need to worry about none of that no more. <gasps> more. Kitty cat already talks. So I don't need animal speak to talk to her. Orin be damned. Her bloody fingerprints are all over this city. I'm gonna kiss my girlfriend and then go to bed. Voss has done his duty. Now we will do ours. We must find our way to the House of Hope and take the Orphic Hammer. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will use the hammer to break Orpheus free. I'm listening.
see what this does. Your tadpoles connect. You feel your hearts thump in unison, like drums keeping beat to a war dance. I am not yours. You are not mine. Say the words. Good. Anything more? Nope. Mm. Nope. Yes, of course. That's what I was like. Hey, you're not bringing that thing up, right? We're not talking about that, right? Casas. You read of such an artifact, but always in veiled terms, couched in myth and rumor. Never as a reality. Could this truly be the crown you saw on the brain? Surging with corrupted Netherese magic. If it is indeed Cassus' fabled creation, what else could it be capable of? Whatever the crown's potential, for now it is impossible to detach from its wearer. So long as the Elder Brain lives, Cassus' crown will never be yours. The orb, the parasite, and now the crown. Netherese magic haunts you at every turn. It's time you understood its full potential. Sorceress Sundries must be your next port of call. If there is more to discover about Casa's creations, their shelves are your best hope of finding it. And once you've learned his secrets, your prayers may finally be answered. Portal to hell. We got Carlac with us for the portal to hell. Fist gay? No, he merely offered patronage. The Condians built the steel watch. Yes, but they were Gortash's rules, which makes him the inventor. How about we settle on the Condians and Gortash invented them? Oh, so this is like a pretty, this is now like a big version of, uh, stop. 
Inhale through the nose. This is like a big version of uh, Hogsmeade. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Now you've just sampled some of Baldur's Gate's finest incense. Delicious, no? Yeah, hell yeah. Aren't they just? You clearly have excellent taste. Hell yeah, you too. What can I do for you, sir? Mr. President, um. Everything yeah. alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Some pepperonis. Be sure to savor each purchase. Oh yeah, should I do that? Maybe I'll just do that. Hello again, sir. What can I do for you? Everything alchemical from potions to poisons. Just do make sure you read the label before quaffing. Hmm? Be sure to savor each purchase. Extract all dang potions. Oh yeah, I want to make all those I can. What is it that this does again?
Oh yeah, that's right. with my parents, remember? Almost pleasant traveling with company, if you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. We're going to F5 here. Quick save successful. Bam. There we go. That's that. <clears throat> I have to, uh, I got to work tomorrow pretty early. I have to be there at what time? Let's see. Six o'clock. Never mind. I don't have to be there early. When do I have to be there early? Do I have to? Ah, I just dropped my phone and then squeezed my nuts between my legs when I went to try to catch it. Ow. Not fun. Me and Marcus tonight. Me and Mumford tomorrow night. Then me, Colton, Mario, and Phil Friday night. And Ray during the day. Oh, I gotta be at 3.30 on Saturday. What is Saturday? Let me look at this. The laugh of totality. What is that? <clears throat> Man, let's go there and look. of totality is an evening of the funniest nerds and scientists turn stand-up comments joking about the upcoming solar eclipse in cities that are in the path of totality expect a ridiculous raunchy and informative night that will leave
leave your brains and abs hurting from laughter. This nerdy comedy show is so well-rounded, we're, we're being protested by the flat earth society. <clears throat> oh, so it's a show show. Huh. How about that? Five o'clock show. Well, there's that. <clears throat> Didn't know that was a thing. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah, it should be fun. But uh, I got to be at work at six o'clock tomorrow. I thought I had to be there at three, but since I'm out, I'm just going to get out. Um,. So, yeah, tomorrow night, if uh, Breadman doesn't go do virtual Red Band, uh, then we might jump on here tomorrow night. Uh, but I may take a day or day off. I won't, uh, it won't be like South by was. So I'll still be, I'll still have a little life in me when I get home this week and tomorrow's an easy night <clears throat> tomorrow's a real easy night so <clears throat> you guys will see me tomorrow night if not in Baldur's Gate then in Virtual Red Band for sure so yeah I'm gonna go make some more noodles for spaghetti Heat that up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And shout out to all of y'all for hanging out this whole time. We had a pretty good crew in here. Boba, Pooter, Cassio, Jason went earlier. Jade in the house. Rhino was in here earlier. Roadkill popped in. Who else is in here? seeing in the chat but I know there's a handful more out there chilling anyway hope you all have a wonderful evening and we'll see you tomorrow night <clears throat> either in virtual red band or in Baldur's Gate and yeah be good people night night